Hello, my name is Ken Berman and uh, I work for an organization called the International Broadcasting Bureau and our job is to really help various broadcasting entities get past the censorship that's uh, put in by their own governments. The most uh, well-known and famous, of course, is the uh, People's Republic of China, who have what's known as the Great Firewall. And this effectively filters many pieces of information that come from overseas or come from different sources of information. Uh, we've found that uh, when there's controversial subjects or areas that might not agree with the official position of the uh, Chinese Communist Party or the People's Republic of China, those internet exchanges, email exchanges, ability to move information in and out are, are filtered by the Chinese government. So what we're trying to do is uh, help Radio Free Asia and other services get past that internet censorship by presenting various tools, some of which we've developed, some of which we want to talk about that other people have developed that are just as good. What we've found about the uh, Chinese is that they have a very effective firewall and uh, it takes some extraordinary measures to try to get past that firewall. Basically, our current simple program consists of sending emails to various users and recipients inside China that are on the Radio Free Asia mailing list. And these emails have daily news summaries. Uh, but what's more important is we include proxies. Proxies, of course, are domains, websites that stand in for another website, just like a proxy fills in for somebody else or something else. So since rfa.org is blocked, we substitute other names for it. And these other names, these proxies, are changed every day or two or three. And we send these proxies out, these names, domain names, out with the emails. And if you click on the proxy, you're taken securely to the Radio Free Asia homepage. So while we land you with these proxy sites at Radio Free Asia, the overall intent of the program is to open up the internet to freedom of information, freedom of expression, freedom basically to find the information you want. Because the idea is, is that if you have the necessary information, you can make your own decisions.